spring break. I'm just going to set the camera up. So we're live. Um, oh my god, are we live? Yeah, we're live. I'm so sorry. What's <laughs> what, you working? I didn't know. Yeah, we're close. So basically, what we did is I've, I've had a few uh, parcels through recently. I've been away um, doing a few bits and pieces. And uh, I've just come back and I'll show you. I'll just take you down. I've had a, a box through from PAS. Uh, today's the first day uh, back into training, trying to get my diet right, trying to get my dry out straight. I've got my pretty assistant who's standing with me on my, my left. She's been a bit funny about not coming into shot. You're coming into shot today? Alive, I'm just <laughs> a bit freaked out. Hello. Hello, everybody. Um, so, we're going to go the supplements, the reasons that I take some of them. Obviously, as you know, um, I believe diet first, food first, everything that I do. Uh, I use kind of my fitness pal app to put my food in, put my nutrition in, and, and cover everything off. But obviously, I do need some supplements to top things up when I'm trying to reach certain macros. I've got deficiencies in certain areas, things like fish oils, taking probiotics in the morning, um, but just taking supplements as my main focus. That's never what I do. I, you know, I'm not sponsored by anyone, I'm not sponsored by PAS. So I use different companies for different things. Um, I really enjoy working with these guys um, on the Lions Tour. They supplied us with, with some stuff and some great products. So. Chloe and I are going to go through a few bits and um, we will see. But she's dangerously like cutting this box quite badly. I mean, do you want to just slice it? I love a stand knife. You do love a stand knife, but don't like mess That's anything hot. up here, right? Hi guys, everyone's being knife. Careful with that knife. I know, I tell her every time to be careful with the knife. Uh, we're just going to just put so this over cutting here. Cutting is your work. Yeah, very amusing. Um, all right, let's have a little look. Okay. So let's see what we've got in the PAA box, PS, PAS box. Oh my god. Right, get your little grubby fans off and we'll talk about it as oh, we go through. So the first thing um, they sent me is some electrolytes. So I start the day every day with two litres of water. Um, I put, um, I use a couple of different products in there. Um, I've used a hydrate, a pro hydrate, little, uh, little tablets with electrolytes. Hydration is massively key to everything I, I, I do. I'm terrible when I'm dehydrated. I, I can't do anything. I've got a headache, my back hurts, I get more sore. I don't recover very well. Uh, I don't sleep very well. So um, electrolytes are banging my, my in the morning. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, wake up, hydrate, take your electrolytes, and then, yeah, your body will be functioning better. So that's what I, that's what I use in the morning. Next up, um, the Amiga fish oils. Now. Again, obviously, uh, everything we do in terms of, of training and everything else is, is based around um, drug testing and, and all the kind of stuff that has to go with that. So you have to be very careful about what you can and can't take. Fish oils are a great way for recovery. Um, obviously, we get certain fish oils from certain things, but a lot of people are deficient. Uh, is it, it, it's, an, it's an essential fatty acid, so your body doesn't make the kind of fatty acid that it needs to survive. So you get it from things like oily fish, um, and nuts and things like that, uh, but yeah, James is right. It's really hard to get everything that you, your body will love you for piling in. So omega oils are like one supplement that I hammer. Like after every meal, I'll take one. For someone his size, I would say after every meal, take two, unless you have a really high in fatty fish diet, in which case you don't need it as much. But still, like still try and get it in there. I got tested for it. So mainly you've got obviously two types of, of um, essential fat, fatty acids, don't you? Like the EPA, like one of always deficient is, is in EPA as opposed to... You've got saturated fats and your unsaturated fats. And uh, people are, tend to be really deficient in their unsaturated fats. They break down into two categories, polyunsaturated and monounsaturated. Polyunsaturated, um, really kind of like walnut, um, rape seed oil is really good. Uh, monounsaturated, you want your nuts and your oily fish. Uh, and yeah, again, like I said, they're essential fatty acid. If you ever hear that word essential in front of a nutrient, it means you're not getting it on your own and you need to hammer it. Um, next, I've got immune support. Um, obviously, training hard, I've got quite um, a hectic lifestyle mainly putting up with her chat. Um, so I get the immune support. Oh yeah, I, I'm, sh I'm sure everyone believes you that my chat is hammering your brain with nonsense. See what I mean? Um, so we've got immune support <laughs> factor. Um, I, I, I try and use that. I use a couple of other products as well for that, but I try to use that. Obviously, there's lots of stuff written about any of these vitamins and supplements actually working. Do they make a difference? Are they any good for you? I, I think trying to get some extra vitamins and extra uh, minerals and put things like bits C and the B vitamins in and everything else can make, a, yeah. can make a bit of a difference. But again, 
sometimes it's a bit of a placebo thing, you know, you never know. Um, what else got here? Um, AGF1, this is kind of a, um, almost like a, uh, not a pre-trainer, but something to support your, your training and recovery and muscle gain and everything else and, and kind of muscle repair. It's got deaspartic acid in there as well, which is a good natural testosterone booster. Um, what else we got? Okay, you know, obviously in the morning before I go to work or whenever I'm training or I want to have a good recovery, I've got a certain amount of carbs to have. You know, being a performance athlete as opposed to a fitness model, um, you, you know, I require more carbs than anything, so I have to kind of whey proteins at times, but I do get some of this gear here, which is the MGF, well, MGF1, which is, um, got 42 grams of, uh, of protein per serving, 11.5 grams of BCAAs, um, and 5.3 grams of leucine, and it also does have um, quite a few carbs in there as well, if I am right. Oh, is this the, this is the low one, maybe it's this one. This one has carbs, actually yeah, this is the kind of a, a, a size gainer and this kind of has um, more stuff for recovery in there. So, you know, the, I will have one in the morning, the, the high carb one I'd have is my first sort of sh shake of the day um, after my breakfast for kind of the car, um, for the car journey in because I'm trying to eat about a thousand calories in the morning. This has got a few bits, what's this serving? Does it say what's, yeah. yeah, 40 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, five grams of, of creatine. I've got a couple of other things in the box. I've just got some BCAAs, which are really nice. And when Chloe tastes one of these, she's gonna be addicted to them because it tastes like cola. And it's- yeah, um, You can have a look at everything else that's in these. All right, we'll have a look. What's the expert saying? Uh, 500. Oh, it's actually amazing. It's amazing. So, okay, so these little bits are great for, for, for having pre-trained. I've also got, um, you know, I use some, some caffeine gum from, from um, a health span. I've told you guys about it before, but I also use these these caffeine gels are unbelievable. Instead of having an actual coffee, you can have one of these and they taste like um, espresso, which is pretty cool. So that, that's my little thing for supplements. Just as a little unboxing from, from PAS. Obviously, as I said, food first in everything you do. Uh, you don't need piles of supplements. You know, a lot of you guys who train don't need half this stuff. You know, the electrolytes are key. Uh, a good source of, of protein and carbs is, is, is obviously always going to come from food. But if you need to top stuff up, that's great. And then the little bits like the fish oils and immune support are, are, are great. And then BCAA drinks to, to drink through training or post training to make sure you don't um, get muscle loss, you know, again. But it's catabolism. Catabolism. That's the word I was looking Deep for. Blood, small but, brain. Yeah, catabolism. And that's what we, we do. But anyway, look, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like the video, please comment. If you didn't like the video and you're rude, I will get you. <laughs> um, thanks very much. And we'll catch you soon. If I can work out how to end the video. Now that's recording. We're still live. <laughs> How'd you exit? How'd you get out of here?